probably the most unusual and I think in some ways clever laptop I ever reviewed. And you might say, looking at how thick it is, and I'm telling you it's heavy, you might say, what? I'm Walt Mossberg. I have been reviewing tech gadgets since the early 90s and collecting them since the 80s. And I wanted to show you some of my collection. This is the IBM ThinkPad 701, and it's in the Museum of Modern Art. We're here at Epcot Center to show you this powerful new system. It weighs a mere 4.5 pounds, and it measures a diminutive 9.7 by 7.9 by 1.7 inches. Came out in 1995, and here's what's interesting about it. It was state-of-the-art digital technology at the time it came out, but this piece of mechanical technology is what made this special. When you opened it, the keyboard expanded. Boom. The trouble with most notebooks this size is that most hands are this size. That's why we created the four and a half pound ThinkPad 701. And it solved a really important problem that people in the early days of laptops felt very strongly about, which was these keyboards are too small. We really are used to the keyboards we have on our desktops and we want something bigger but we don't want to carry around something this wide and this giant, so IBM solved it with this. They dropped this whole idea a couple of years later. The screens got bigger, so you didn't need the butterfly keyboard anymore because you, you had the width. I gave this model, this butter, butterfly a keyboard ThinkPad, a great review. IBM, I remember, took out ads quoting my review bragging about their innovation. It's really a seriously well thought out uh, mechanical engineering marvel.